Hey everyone, this is Nad from Haiku. Haiku is a modern design tool that, amongst other things, makes it incredibly easy to add motion to your designs. Not only that, once you've embedded your designs, you can continue to iterate on them, even after integrating with your website or app. Here on the left, we can see Haiku, and on the right, we can see the same animation playing on the web and in iOS and Android emulators. We'll cover live design more later, which is what's powering these continuous design updates you're able to see here. Today, we're going to cover some basics. In this quick getting started video, we're going to animate this bouncing ball. It might not look like much, but in doing so, we'll learn about manipulating items on the stage, timeline based animations, using keyframes, and using tweens to smoothly transition between those keyframes. If none of that makes sense, don't worry because it will do soon. Alright, so here I've got a new project in Haiku. On the left, you can see the library, which is where all of our design assets will live, and the bottom, the timeline, which we'll use to animate. And then here's the stage where we can visualize our design. You can import Sketch or SVG files uh, into any Haiku project, but for this tutorial, let's start with a new Sketch file. Every Haiku project comes with a boilerplate Sketch file that we can just double click and then we're in. Okay, so we can safely delete all this helper text because we're going to cover everything in here. And then let's draw our ball and shadow, uh, making sure to apply our signature Haiku gradient. save in sketch and then back to Haiku and nothing's happened. Okay, so that's because Haiku doesn't import every single layer from sketch because we don't want your library to get too messy. It reads artboards and slices. So let's go back to sketch and mark our layers as slices and try again. Perfect. So we can see our slices here on the left in our library and we can just simply drag these into the stage just zoomed in slightly, and let's place all these guys roughly in the middle. And on the left here in the timeline properties, I wanna show you how they update as we drag the ball around the stage. So position X is horizontal and Y is vertical. And we can see those changing. Let's extend our timeline a little so we can see more frames. And let's also make this animation begin with the ball in the air. You could drag and drop the ball, but I'm gonna edit the timeline properties directly over here. If we drive the timeline with the playhead and then modify properties, then Haiku automatically creates keyframes to animate between. And let's make sure that the animation finishes in the exact same place so that the animation loops seamlessly. If we hit play, we have some movement. Let's smoothly transition between these keyframes. If we right click between two keyframes, we can create tweens. Haiku has a built-in library of different tweens. It's worth experimenting with all of them, but for now I'm just going to select the ones I know I want. And now if we hit play, we can see the tweens doing their magic. Now let's add some more polish to this animation. Uh, let's emulate sort of physics squashing the ball as it has the impact to the ground. So if we just go 20 frames before we hit the ground. Let's set a keyframe maintaining the vertical scale. And then let's reduce that to squash it a little bit here. Perfect. Actually, this is now off the ground slightly, so let's adjust the position. Maybe just a touch more. That looks good. And then 20 frames after, let's have it return to its original size. And same as before, just right click and make tween to make these nice and smooth. And if we scrub that a little bit, we can see that it's already starting to look better. And what would be nice is if we go to our shadow, uh, if we make the opacity zero at the start of the clip, then we can go to that same point, which was 20 frames before it hits the ground and create another keyframe with the same opacity and then have it fade in only when the ball is hitting the ground. With those set up, we'll just create our tweens and then we can see all of these pieces coming together. Perfect. So I'm just gonna take a look at this animation in preview mode in the top right. You'll get a lot more mileage out of preview mode when using things like actions and interactivity, but for now it's just a great way to have a look at your animation looping. 
That looks pretty good to me for a getting started tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and publish. This will generate a unique share link you can use to share your haiku with others, where you can preview your haiku on the web. There's also instructions for how to embed your haiku in your website or app. And that's all for getting started with animation in haiku. With those simple techniques we just looked at, you can accomplish a lot with your designs. Stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials, and we're also constantly adding more awesome features to Haiku, so keep your eyes peeled for those. Sign up for the free beta at haiku.ai. See you next time.